Yo! What's up beautiful people, it's Instantman here, back with another free stinger transition. But, this time it's an After Effects template. That means you can add your own logo. Also, the stinger transitions are inspired by my popular full animated stream pack salient. But what, if you don't have After Effects, or you don't know how to use After Effects? No worry. I got you. I have also included no logo version as well, that are ready for use in any of your stream software. Watch the video till the end, to know how to set up them on OBS Studio, as well as Streamlabs OBS. Also at the end we will find, how to add your own logo with just 3 easy clicks. By the way, you can buy the Stinger. But in that case, if you buy the free Stinger then, I will add your logo by myself. It's really cheap too, you can check out the link in the description box below. Now enough for the hype. Let's dive into the video. After you download the file, you will see a folder, Salient Stinger Transitions by Instantman. Open it, and you will see another four folders. One is After Effects project file, and the other one is the Photoshop project file. Just ignore the Photoshop project file, but don't do anything, delete or move this Photoshop file. If you do that, then you will see some error in the After Effects file. Also, you will have two no logo version stinger transitions. They are ready to use and stream optimized. It's for those who don't have access to After Effects or don't know how to use it. I told you that, I got you. Alright. Open the After Effects project file and wait for a moment. Once the project file is open, you will see three compositions. Salient transitions no spikes, salient transitions with spikes, and logo here. As you can see, currently in transitions is my logo. Let's change it. Go to the logo here, compositions. Select my logo file. Right click and select replace footage then. Choose the file option. Browse the logo you want to replace. Then click import. Here is a tip. Make sure you have a PNG, transparent logo to get the best result. If you want to scale up this logo, select the logo file in the logo here composition. Select the logo file and press on your keyboard. Then increase the scale by sliding or by giving a custom number. But PLS make sure your logo doesn't cut by the border. I mean the composition size. Congrats! Your logo has added to the transitions. Now, if you want to export the Stinger transition with no spikes, then select the first compositions, and if you want to export with spikes, then select the second composition. For this video, I will be going with no spike one, the first composition. After you selected the composition, go to file in the upper left corner. Then select export. Ok. Wait a second. You will need to install an extension called WebM. To export this stinger in smaller file sizes, but with the same quality as QuickTime. Also, I will be using Adobe Media Encoder to export this. I will try to put the links in the description box below. Ok. After you select the render with the Adobe Media Encoder option, the Media Encoder will open. And after you see the composition, click on the WebM text. But in your case, it may have H264. Just click this and change the format to WebM. Then you may not also see the Stinger preset. No worry. Ignore this. Now, if you want to export the Stinger with audio, then check the export audio box. Or uncheck if you don't want the audio. Then change the output name and location into whatever name and location you want. Click save. Now, in the video setting. Click the match source button. Then scroll down until you see codec settings. Choose VP9, select method constant quality, from the drop down menu. Also, you may see the quality value. Set to 50. Give this a value 25. 
because the smaller the size is, the better will be the animation of the Stinger in Stream software. Here are the most critical settings. You must check, include the alpha channel to have. Transparency. Remember, it's the most important setting to keep in mind. At last, check use maximum render quality and hit OK. After you have done that, click on the green play button in the top right corner. Please wait until it's finishing the render process. However, if you don't want to export like this, then follow this step. Go to export, then select add to render queue. A new composition will open automatically. From there, select the output module and click on the lossless option. Then a new pop-up will appear. Change the format from AVI to QuickTime and change the channels option from RGB to RGB plus alpha to get the transparent effect. But this process of exporting for a stream is not recommended because it produces a huge file size, which may slow down your PC. Now let's see how to add the Stinger in Streamlabs OBS and OBS Studio. Here I am in the Streamlabs OBS. Also, the animated starting soon you're looking here, is from my free animated stream pack. You can find this fully animated stream pack, for free on my channel. And this transition is for this pack. Especially. You will find the link in the description box below. To set up custom transitions. Click the setting icon under the scenes collection. Then you can either customize the existing global transitions or add transition. I will add transition for this tutorial. After you click on the add transition, a new pop-up will appear. Give a name to the transition, then select stinger. From the transition type, drop down menu. Browse the file and set the transition point type to time and transition point to 2000. And for audio monitoring, select monitor and output, then hit OK. Now you can see the animation going on. I think it's looking good. What do you think? Let me know in the comment box. Now let's see how you can do that in OBS Studio. After opening OBS, go to scene transitions and select the setting icon. Then click the properties menu. Browse the video file, set the transition point type to time, and transition point to 2000 ms for audio monitoring, select monitor and output, preview the transition, and hit OK. Boom! You have successfully added the transition into OBS Studio as well. Congrats! on your great victory. So, that's all for today. Hopefully, you will love the free Stinger Pack. If you do, a like will be appreciated, don't forget to subscribe and slap that bell icon. Also, comment down below what do you want in my next video. I am Instantman, and I will catch you in the next one. Till then, take care, stay creative, keep creating. Peace.